It's X then X. Uh, welcome back to the end of the month pickups for July 2011. Which is a, I did actually say in the last video I wasn't actually going to pick up anything. Uh, I ended up um, contradicting myself and picking up quite a fair bit. It's not, uh, not that much. I got a couple of packages as well. I've done Shader Bexar 2708. Uh, I think everyone's seen his video, well people who subscribe to me anyway. Uh, hello new, new subscribers as well, thanks very much for your uh, subscription and all that, means a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it. And also, as you can see, I have a new camera. Uh, it's a flip camcorder ultra, I think it is. Um, this ain't last video, I was going to go to CX on the Monday um, to go and get uh, the camera. Yeah, I think it was an F260 or something like that. Went into the computer exchange, but it wasn't there, so I was a bit pissed off about it. I was going online to stock listings and it said uh, Flip Ultra, 20 quid, great B. So I thought, yeah, better than nothing, better than the webcam. The only thing is now is though, I can't actually look at what I'm doing. But I'm um, a bit of trial and error, well, before I kind of got the gist of what, it, what, what looks better than, you know, like focusing, etc. When I go closer, I'm going to go back, etc. So hopefully that'll be alright soon. But um, yeah, just carry on with that and just go straight into the video. But uh, yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a trail right now is great band, so listen to that. <laughs> uh, for a start, I'd just like to say, um, I found this, which is a Game Boy Advance, uh, it's actually Zelda edition, there was actually um, a donate, well not a donation, well I suppose, and it, uh, inherited it, well actually no, that wouldn't make sense because my sister's actually younger than me, unless you can do it that way, don't know, but anyway, yeah, I got a Zelda SP, uh, Game Boy Advance, uh, originally found it, that was the finest, uh, a few days, ooh, a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, something like that, and um, I, mean, I couldn't find the charger, and I was looking, they didn't make it very once because I remember I've seen a video in the Minish Camp and thought, I've got that somewhere, I'm going to have to look for it. So I had to go look for it, and yeah, they found it. Uh, I ended up going for a bit of spree. Well, not spree, I'm going to get quite like two new games off it. But, um, well, actually three. But uh, the games that I bought off it, well, the only two that I bought off it, straight into it. Right, got Castlevania, on Game Boy Dance, which is quite good to find. Yeah, that was a fiver. Uh, this was four pounds uh, from the local, uh, well, metro shop that we got here. Level up games. Uh, Lucy's really nice. She's dead. She's really cool. I kind of owe her a bit of an apology. Well, not an apology, because well, she was selling the Sega Dreamcast. Right? She posted all the new stuff she got on Facebook, okay? And she's selling the Sega Dreamcast unbox for thirty-five quid. And I was like, thirty-five quid for an unbox Sega Dreamcast? Like eBay, you're talking twenty, twenty-five most for an unbox Sega Dreamcast with no games and a controller and that. So. You know, I just kind of, which doesn't know where I am, but I, I kind of said sorry about it a few weeks ago. And it was pretty cool. So I showed my face, said hello, and I uh, got a Super Mario Advance, that was £4. Uh, I also found this in my dad's cupboard, weirdly. It's a uh, Lady Sire, no idea what it is. It's like a little action adventure game platformer. It's been alright so far, I put too much time into it. I've been really trying to get Mario playing that, but that's kind of got to crap. I've uh, got Legends of Zelda Minish Cap, this is one of my collection, the ones that I actually have, but it uh, made up to have that. I was, I was checking the save files and I actually got to the end of it, I've completed it, etc. But I'm just kind of like in between this, Final Fantasy VIII and the next purchase, which I'll show you in one second. I've uh, got Survivor Series as well, and W, uh, w uh, Simpsons Road Rage, so it's quite good games, so I'm going to get in. Uh, the only retail game I actually bought... Ooh, full price. Well, what was the last retail? Death Smiles is the only retail full price game I've actually bought after Death Smiles, and that's F Defense Force Insect Armageddon. Uh, just like the first, brand new, obviously, it's only the trailer mine and all that. Shit thing is, kinda, see that crack there in the case? I know everyone's gonna see it off, the, off this, but basically, I was in work and I was locking up, and the game got caught in between the door and that, so it kinda cracked the case and all, it all fell apart. Luckily, though, all the box art and all that's all pretty much. There's no, there's no, there's no tears or anything like that. So that's good. So need a new case. Speaking to a couple of lads in the game station, said just saying, "Oh, sort me out a new case when 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 they're when they're in on Saturday." So one of them's gonna bring one over for me. So, but yeah, absolutely brilliant game. It's a lot different to um, the original one, uh, FN4 2017, which I did a review on. Uh, if anyone wants to watch that, by the way, go back and check that out. It's pretty good. Pretty good game, definitely look for it. Good thing about this is though, it's got online co-op and you a bit of multiplayer. Is it multiplayer? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's got multiplayer. I know, I'm pretty sure you can get Xbox Live in there. I'm sure you can. I don't even know. I think, I'm pretty sure you can. I can get online co-op for free, you know that. I think you can get like multiplayer 60, 16 survival. It's pretty, oh yeah, you can actually. But the thing is though, right, the only thing you hook up with that is, is when, when the host game, you get host migration. So someone dashboards or someone loses the connection, etc. and they host. 
completely fucks up the game for everyone, which is a shame, but hopefully there's going to be a patch for it. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some DLC for it as well, because the ending basically leaves a lot open for it, so I'm expecting a lot of good DC, a lot of DC, a couple of DLC for it. Uh, but yeah, absolutely brilliant game. Uh, I paid 27 in a uh, game station, and it came out last Friday, so I highly just everyone go out and buy this and support uh, the game. Absolutely fan fucking fantastic game. It really is, one of my favourites of the year. Uh, probably the best or last. Uh, when I'm in usual travels, as I do, uh, this is probably going to be called the RPG Hall because um, there are a lot of RPGs and a lot of good games. Um, basically from the same um, store, the Level Up store, I basically went in. I knew it was the Game Boy Advance, so I ended up buying a couple of Game Boy games. So I stand there with Nathan, and I'm like, so what do you want to do then? What do you want to look for? And he just turned around and I look at the PS2 stuff and I'm like, then. so looking through, the first thing I seen that caught my eye straight away was uh, was this one, Shadow Hearts Covenant. Now, I've actually got Shadow Hearts uh, Forbidden, is it Forbidden, I don't even Forbidden Memories, because that's, that's, that's a bloody um, Silent Hill game, something stupid like that. Yeah, I've got it somewhere, I've got, I've got what's caught. I know it's Shadow Hearts, it might just be Shadow Hearts actually. But yeah, this is the sequel to that. Uh, it's quite, there are really, really good games. They're quite expensive, they still hold the value still to this day quite well. I've seen the computer exchange and that. I mean, that one computer exchange is like £20, or something like that. Um, and as I was looking through, I was saying, wow, well, I know she got all the RPGs. I said, yeah, yeah, there's a couple more. And I went, really? <laughs> she went, really? She went, really? Uh, she went, really? She went, really? She went, what? And she went, wild. She actually said, what? Uh, Wildums? Like, what do you mean, Wildums? She went, there's like an RPG there called Wildums or something. And I went, what? And she like pointed it out, we found this Wild Arms 4. Now, I've actually never played a Wild Arms game. Uh, I have heard good things about them. I've got number 3 up there, disc only, which I found on the card retail, 50p, which I wasn't going to complain about. But, um, yeah, these are pretty rare games. They're quite hard to come by. Uh, but this one, the only reason I got this one uh, is this is called Wizardry Tale of Forsaken Land, is it? Yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, this led to me to this game to uh, an article uh, posted online. Some guys actually collected the whole the entire PS2 library, uh, NTSC, and they're all sealed. Every single game, things like 1800 games or something. And he said this was the hardest game to find sealed. And I was bemused by it and I just thought, wow, it must be like a pretty hard game to find, etc. Went online, you even think uh, on eBay, didn't you think hear people that had it? It was actually uh, Spanish in Germany, that's uh, this Spain and Germany, no UK listings for it at all. Computer exchange didn't give me nothing. So I just ended up finding it sitting there, so I thought I'd buy that. They're £15 each. Now, I did actually say I wasn't actually going to buy anything, but I got a fair bit of extra I got a bit of extra money on me, and um, me paid for me with a job, which kind of helped. I thought, you know what, I'm going to splash out here, forget it. You know, I, you know I'm never, I'm never going to see them again, I might as well. So I'm going to pay £15 each for them, which is probably the going rate for them anyway. But I, I'm actually quite happy because I am trying to get most of the PS2 RPGs as quick as I can. Because I do love my RPGs, and... You know, look on the PS1 ones and their value now, they're in Sky, etc. Not looking them for a value purpose, more of, more of a collection purpose, because there are some absolutely brilliant games in the PS2 RPG wise, so. Yeah, that's another great game there. Yeah, probably the best one for last. I'm pretty sure if we saw another film, so that's a good mood at that. Oh, yeah, that's something to Right, uh, probably the start of the month when I went in, uh, got this little beauty. Come down to New Mrs. Vale. Uh, it cost me £8. Really happy to have that. The original the lower game I'm still trying I'm still after. Um, I'm actually that is that is actually going to be actually yeah, is it actually going to be well, number one is gonna be a uh, game you need to play the next one. Uh, the intro and that's done for it is a little bit more I need to do to it, but it will be up sometime next week. Going away this weekend, so hopefully it'll be done by the next week when I get time. But working full time, you come back home and you just don't wanna play anything or do anything, you just wanna to go to bed or you know, chill out with your friends, etc. So you know, I'm, I'm still active, I'm still kind of commenting on people's things, etc. And I've also got a nice idea from another good friend, uh, Interghost. He's asked me to do something for him, uh, and I probably am going to do that at some point, as quick as I can. I owe people a lot of things, and I will get around to them eventually. you just got to bear with me, and, you know, please support. Support me how I'm doing it. Anyway, right, so uh, yeah, Clarence to learn to bail. That's, for, that's complete as well. Brilliant game to find. It's really happy to find that. Uh, the original one is probably one of my fondest memories. Uh, I was recently looking into uh, another Wii version, the, the remake of another one. It it looks good, but it just it just sounds and looks absolutely well. It just sounds terrible. The voice acting's so bad in it. You know, I like I like the quirky little Japanese with the little subtitles. You know what I mean? That, that was happy. I was happy with that. You know, it's, 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 that's the point of the game. Well, that that's what did it for me in the game. Do you know what I mean? Brilliant game. 
And really, I'm trying, trying, trying to find another copy at the moment on eBay and that, but at the moment I've got no money because I've been uh, camping, buying camping gear, which I might show you in a minute, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, being a lot of camping gear if I want to go away to Heavy Fest, Heavy Festival in uh, Kent, which is going to be good. I'm trying to, um, trying to get some, uh, get check the game station, go on a little game hunt. And then I've got an hour in the morning on a Monday when I come back. So Ashford, I think the I think the game station's like round the corner from the bus station, and there's something else on the bus station as well. So they're really pretty close, apparently. So we're we'll into that. But um, yeah, this one is a Gregory Horry show. Uh, just the Capcom games fully complete, absolutely mint. Uh, it's a quirky, weird Japanese anime thing, and I've seen. I think oh, it was a cartoon fan. Cartoon fan picked this up months ago. I mean months ago, I think. And he said it's like a really weird, quirky game. I definitely should try and pick it up. So I've seen it for four pounds, but I'll take that. That's pretty good. Uh, went on a bit of a hunt uh, on, on the past few days. Uh, so basically, oh, when what day was this? Two weeks ago? Yes, yeah, so I went on a bit of a hunt. As I do, I usually set myself on my day off and go for a hunt. So I start about nine o'clock, go around all the game stations, Liverpool, the pool, the, um, the cash converters, the cash generators. Went to a couple of new cash generators and they. Uh, didn't come away empty handed, <laughs> which is pretty good. But um, yeah, I got another copy of it, Project Zero, I just found the charity shop, and that was £1.50. It's complete, it's up for trade as well, because I've also got uh, a spare copy, so it's basically up for trade. Um, I think it's still called a Fatal Frame, and I've actually looking out for more for the Xbox versions as well, because I think they're, be they're probably better uh, graphically, etc. And I think, uh, like I said, Dan W547, I think he actually mentioned, sorry, he mentioned that, um, Project Zero 2 or 1 is a little bit different uh, with comparison to the PS2 games. Not graphically, but the story is a little bit different. So, yeah, that's all for trade. If anyone's after that, please give me an inbox or a PM. An inbox or a PM. Give me a PM or comment. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's another little good on a farm for it. This was £2 in cash, uh, cash conversions. Uh, Resident Evil Outbreak. Uh, quite happy to find this. You've seen this here on £5 pounds. every time we go to games. You can think of 3 for 10. Uh, my friend Connor highly recommends it, and uh, I bought it in the end, so happy with that. These are some Sega Saturn pickups. Uh, this is a separate one from Game Station. This is my first Saturn shooter, and it's Parodius. Uh, basically, Gradius, uh, but it's like a cute muff, basically, of a shooter. It's a really good shooter. I haven't put that much time into it. Played the first level. Didn't get bored of it, I had to go out, so I've just been dabbling with it at the moment. Uh, can get quite tough, I've heard, it, I've heard at the end, the end boss is meant to be like the most ridiculous thing ever, it's like one shot kill or something, which I'm going to hope hopefully going to get interested into that soon. Uh, these are actually um, a little story about a charity shop, uh, I was in work ooh, a few weeks ago, was it? Two weeks ago, yeah, two weeks ago, and a uh, guy, guy over there said, uh, yeah, this is it. I found some Sega Saturn games in the charity shop, and I went, oh yeah, he said, uh, I said, what's the name, Panzer Dragoon Saga, I went, Panzer Dragoon Saga is in that charity shop, and he went, yeah. And I went, are you being serious? He went, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Panzer Dragoon Saga or something. And I just, I said, right, hold the fort, like, I'm going to go and get this game. And he's like, what do you mean, hold the fort? And I'm like, I'm going to the charity shop to get that game, because that game's went with an absolute fortune. So he's just like, oh, okay then, yeah. And, you know, this is at lunchtime, 12 o'clock, on a Saturday, busy day. I had to leg it and sprint, and uh, I was actually disappointed, because it was only Panzer Dragoon Zwei, which is the uh, Panzer Dragoon 2. Uh, great game though, nevertheless, but it's actually say it's trying to hands the Dragon Saga, which I think is only an NTSC exclusive anyway. It's a bit mad, but um, yeah, not a bad game to find, it was a pound. Got the original Doom, which I'm actually happy to play, happy to finally pick up, because I've been wanting for a copy of Doom. Um, the only PC I've really got at the moment is a laptop, so say Saturn, you know, prob I think the PS1 version is probably going to be a bit better, but you know, for Doom for a pound, I'm not going to complain a lot. Very good game. Worms, fond memories as a child, brilliant game. Pound again, really happy to get that. These are all complete, by the way. And the, the, the discs are immaculate, it's crazy. And this one, Crazy, crazy Ivan, which is this weird, like, mech, mech warrior assault thing. But the guy, Mike, who I work with, he actually said, I remember that as a kid, it was so good. So, for a pound, I'm not going to complain a lot. Bit disappointed, though, it wasn't Panzer Dragoon Saga, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Uh, basically, what else have we got here? Well, no, I'll just go on to this stairs and leave a nice little pack of stairs. A couple of packages as well. Uh, from the day when I went uh, game hunting, I actually found a couple of little beauties. Um, these are unbelievable in the sense that these are ridiculously hard to find. The two of them are ridiculously hard to find. And the price you pay for them is a bit ridiculous as well. These are some cash converters, and these are fucking ridiculous to find. First one's Hack Mutation Part 2, and that costs a grand total of 99 pence. Right, 99 pence. Can you believe that, right? And all comes with the DVDs and the Maculate and the books, etc. 
Ninety nine pence a hack infection. Just part one. It's four parts. I was, I was amazed. The fan was like, "What the fuck's this?" <laughs> so basically, I went up and just said, "Look, seen ninety nine pence." So I went, "Okay, right." I mean, actually, at the end, I'm gonna when I walked in, it was the first thing I seen. So I said, "Right, I'm gonna stop myself. I'm gonna take these out. I'm just gonna walk down and see what else I find." He's a fan of more hidden gems because usually if you get something like that, obviously this game is like a huge haul of games or something, or you know, someone's chasing an RPG. But when I got this from the cash, the cash converters, where it came from, the hacked or the hack series, I also got Final Fantasy X on platinum, 99 pence. Um, probably get can probably get um, trade and through exchange, but I've actually realised that this is the only copy I actually have of it, so it's still get a black label edition. And this is thing. But uh, basically, with that. I was thinking to myself, they must come, must come in a big hall or something, someone must have actually, you know, put it in, etc. You know, came with a couple of games, but the way I found it was in probably one of the roughest part, well, probably, yeah, the second roughest part of Liverpool. I mean, roughest, roughest area probably, Liverpool's probably toxic, to be fair, but, and Kensington, but, to find that, it's 99 pence. I hate that. You think someone's coming in, it's just like, not. Anyway, right, 99p was a bit silly. And I think some smackheads basically took his like brothers or sisters or his cousins a RPG collection and went I need crack and just trade them in. I really do believe that because to find them there is just silly. I mean you're talking like the roughest part of the pool and the guy said I don't know when I came up with so I've never actually discovered them. Final Fantasy is a good game though, isn't it? Yeah yeah. So I've never actually seen them hack infection games. Are they good? I went, yeah, they're good and they're they're quite expensive. And he went, Oh we got a good deal there, didn't you? Went, yeah. I got a good deal. <laughs> so I was happy with that. Uh, got some packages as well. Which is pretty good. Uh, three of them are off CEX, one of them is off X File. Uh, X Files is at the bottom, so let's we'll get straight into this. I know what this is straight away because I took it off. Oh, I, opened, I took it off and opened it. Uh, and it is Gumbeard Special Edition, which I was happy to find. Uh, I was actually looking for this on the Computer Exchange uh, stock listings, and it does have the, the manual, which is good. Blue disc, look at that. Like blue discs. Cool discs. Um, yeah, this cost a grand total of 75 pence online. Now, you actually have to have, to have a £2 minimum. Um, £2 minimum, isn't it? Yeah, £2 minimum uh, to get it to, to order something online for CEX. So, 75 pence, I thought, yeah, buying that, I wrote that. I'm going to have to have a couple more shooters on there, but I keep on looking every day. And at the moment, they're not there. But that's understandable, because they are quite hard to find anyway. Um, but yeah, here's one gun bass. Go, yeah, gun bear, special edition. Brilliant game. You have to put anything to it, obviously, because... And we just got it and we just give them the package. Uh, these two are GameCube games. Kind of slapped on Cube this month, but understandably, I'm not that fussed of it to be honest. And that isn't bad at all. That isn't bad though. And yeah, here's another one. Uh, well, GameCube part is the collection. Uh, 80 pence, cost me Madden 2005. Uh, this one, the probably harder ones to find because this was released obviously when the GameCube was like dying. Uh, it has got a manual. I think this is pretty. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> that dish is pretty good. <laughs> the manual is pretty nice as well. But, um, yeah, 80 pence, can't complain. I need to get two pounds, so we're going to complain about that. Into this one. I'm pretty sure this uh, This one's a pound, I think. It's quite expensive as well. Oh, don't like that. Not going to stick up. <laughs> Well, I've seen a horrible, huge rip or tear in my game now, so I'm going, oh no. Because they have a bit of a new case, but it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, Madden 2004, another little uh, GameCube game to buy. That manual is so thick, Jesus. The disc, sorry. See that manual? Oh, and two registries. <laughs> That's thick, that. Huh? Crazy stuff. I know it's going to have all the other languages in except you, but, you know. I think that was a pound as well, so that goes towards the GameCube collection. Uh, I haven't actually updated the game new collection in, in a while. Uh, I probably am going to do that at one point. I think when I get the next day off, I think I'm going to um, get them all out and get a proper full count on them and spares, etc. So I can uh, offer them out to some people who actually have to cube. Uh, I think I'm roughly on about 250 titles or something like that, or 260. Pretty sure it's about that mark, which is pretty good. I was aiming for 10 for a month. Um, you know, as I've come down, I'm not that fussed with it at the moment because. You know, it's it's getting to the point where every time I go to find something in the wild, nothing comes out, which is really shit. Uh, I've, I've either got them, or they just don't exist. But uh, these two, this is uh, basically from the back side, 2708. Uh, basically found a couple of my system games, big huge stack of them. 
So I know he's had to mass this on full power collection. So I thought Foden would see receive one cent because you know 50 pence piece, not that bad. So I said, Do you have to do anything any of these for Foden? Told him what was there, he said, yeah, right, picked up about eight for him or something like that. So I wasn't too fussed about that. I said, I'll send them through tomorrow. He went, yeah, cool, yeah. So I sent them through. He said he's going to uh, Middlesbrough Computer Exchange. Uh, do you want any, uh, anything on, off the GameCube stock list and that you're after? And yes, I was after two, but I was after three things. I was after a, um, oh, is it Action Replay? Action Replay disc, so I can play it in both uh, GameCube games. There's a couple of GameCube shooters you need to get. I think there's about four or five. I need to get them. Well, I will get them at some point. You'd be surprised, well, there's, there's only like five shooters on here at the GameCube. But uh, this one's quite an odd one. And that is a uh, Max Play 10 and 1, which is a uh, 10 retro style arcade games. This is the unofficial release, and it's the only unofficial release for the GameCube. Uh, there hasn't been uh, a homebrew, well, pretty sure there hasn't, a homebrew, um, you know, release of a game that's actually come out with a case, the manual, etc., and all that stuff. It doesn't have a manual, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure that's not meant to have a manual. I'm not. Disc is absolutely. Oh, that's alright. It could be better. <laughs> Can't really complain, right? But yeah, this is an unofficial game, and it's pretty hard to find as well. Really hard to find. I don't eBay. I've, ne I've never seen it on eBay at the moment. From what I've seen, but you know, I don't mind. I actually come with a manual. I don't know. I'll have to find out, but. No, that's, I think that cost me three pounds or something like that, so I'm quite happy to have that. The last thing I got from him was a uh, Speed Kings, which is a, uh, basically Rose Ash, but an updated version on the GameCube. And it's really good, I think it's, I think it is by EA, no, it's a claim, yeah, basically it is, it's just Rose, it's just Rose Ash. Maybe uh, just, you know, a bit better on the GameCube than that. You did actually send a note, and I should have sent that first. But, uh, yeah, there's a note that says, hey matey, enclose the two GameCube titles you mentioned, you now have exclusive membership to the Retro Game Hunter Hotline, aka my mobile number. <laughs> so give me a shout anytime you see a GameCube title you need on the CEX Miller site. And if I can get hold of it for you, I will. Cheers, Marcus, x 2708 Thanks a lot, mate. That'll be going on there, the wall. <laughs> when I want to get around to doing that. But um, yeah, I've had some, some pretty um, nice experiences this month with games, etc. Got a couple of nice little finds, new camera as well, can't play that. I don't think I get a couple of people somewhere about the quality now, because there you go, there's quality, so, you know, that's pretty good, etc. Um, yeah, I kind of update though, I am going away, um, oh god, I'm going Friday, I've actually got my sleeping bag, my tent, bought new clothes, this t shirt included, this is Breaking Point, Straight Band, Southern Rise, <laughs> Southern Hardcore, pretty good. Um, but yeah, you know, I'll be back. Um, oh god, I'm back Tuesday. I've got a day off Tuesday. Probably post another video up then if I can, or if I've got, if, or if I can get everything finished in time. But um, yeah, so going away. You know, thanks for the support and fellow new subscribers, and you know, thanks for everything. So yeah, yeah, I've been XX, and as usual, thanks for watching. See you later.